Google recently launched a tool called Gemini CLI. It's essentially a powerful open source tool that you can install on your personal computer and use completely free of charge. It's considered an alternative to Claude code, but it's packed with features and currently getting a lot of attention. Let's explore it together and take a closer look. So basically, Gemini CLI is like having your own personal AI agent, a smart assistant you can run right from your terminal. Once it's set up on your computer, you get access to some seriously powerful features, 60 model requests per minute and up to 1,000 per day. But what really sets it apart is that it gives you free access to Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is normally a paid model. Just by using the CLI, you're getting the Pro version without spending a penny. And there's more it also comes with, features like grounded prompts and Google search integration. That means you can ask it questions and it will literally search Google for you and bring back the best answers. You can even connect it with MCP servers to expand what it's capable of all at no cost. In tools like Claude Code, those kinds of integrations are usually locked behind paid plans. On top of that, you can give it custom prompts and instructions to guide how it responds to you and use it to build automated workflows and integrations right on your machine. For example, people have used it with tools like Imagine for generating images and then hooked it up to view to animate those images all handled automatically. Oh, and there's also something called Gemini Code Assist, which you can integrate directly into VS Code. It's kind of like GitHub Copilot or Claude's Code Assist, offering smart code suggestions, auto completions, and helpful prompts while you work. So yeah, Gemini CLI is a serious competitor to Claude Code. If you check out Claude Code's pricing page, you'll see they offer a solid free plan, but a lot of the more advanced features like server integrations are paywalled. With Gemini CLI, you're getting those premium level features for free. All right, to install Gemini CLI, we're going to head over to GitHub using the link I've left for you in the description of this video. Once you scroll down a bit, you'll find the instructions to install Gemini CLI on your device. The first thing we need is the prerequisites. Specifically, we need to make sure that Node.js version 18 or higher is installed on our system. If it's not, we can download and install it. You'll have two options for setting it up. Either use the command line method or download a pre-built package. Choose whichever method suits you best and feels easiest. Let's go with the command line. First, copy the first line of code and paste it into your terminal, then press enter. Next, take the second line and do the same. Copy and paste it into the terminal and hit enter again. Then copy the line for NVM install 22 to install the latest version of Node.js. Paste that into the terminal and let it finish downloading completely. Once it's done, take the line for checking the Node version, paste it into the terminal to see which version is currently installed. It should match the one you just downloaded. After that, check your installed NVM version by running NVM current or a similar command. It should return something like version 22.17.0. Then verify your NPM version by copying the appropriate command into the terminal and you should see something like 10.9.2. That means everything is working fine and Node.js is properly set up on your device. Now let's go back to the GitHub page where we started. The second step is to install Gemini CLI itself. Again, there are two options. Either use the npx command or the npm command. You can use whichever one you prefer. I'm going to go with the first command for now. Copy it, paste it into your terminal, and start the installation process. It might take a little time, but once it's done, everything should be ready. You'll see a message saying you're about to install the Gemini CLI package. It'll ask you if you want to continue, just type Y and press enter. After it finishes, it'll prompt you to log in or authorize your account. You have three options here. You can either log in using your Google account, use a Gemini API key, or use a Vertex AI key. Just note that if you choose the Google login, it has to be a personal Google account, not a workspace one, to get full access. I recommend using the Google login, it's the simplest. Click on it 
and your browser will open so you can choose your Google account. After you sign in, you'll see a confirmation that Gemini CLI is now linked to your account. If you go back to your terminal now, you'll see that Gemini CLI has launched successfully and the interface is ready. You can start using it right away, easily and without issues. Just one last quick note. If you install Gemini using the NPX method, that means every time you want to launch it, you'll have to run that same NPX command in the terminal again. But if you installed it using npm install google slash Gemini slash KLI, then the installation is permanent and you'll be able to launch Gemini just by typing Gemini in the terminal anytime. So if you want it to be always available on your system, go with the second method using npm. Once you've done that, you'll be able to open your terminal, type Gemini, and it'll launch immediately. Let's get started with using the tool. I'll begin with something simple so you can get a feel for how things work. Let's try a random question. For example, if I ask, who was the first person to climb Mount Everest? Just so you can see what the conversation looks like, I type the question and press enter, and it writes the reply here. Notice that the time indicates that it conducted a search on Google. This tool is considered an agent because it relies on the Gemini 2.5 Pro model and connects it with other tools and environments. For example, here, it immediately performed a Google search, even though I didn't explicitly ask it to. That's because the model is trained to use the appropriate tools depending on the nature of the question. Here it tells you that based on its search, it found the correct answer. Now let's start using it for the first function. File management, meaning controlling the computer like searching for files, creating new files, and so on. Let's say I wanted to show me the files inside a folder named videos and downloads. What we do is go to the desired folder, right click on it, and copy what's called the path, which is the exact location of the folder on your device. After copying the path, I go to the tool and ask it to read the contents of the folder. I might say something like read folders, but we first need to specify the tool. And if you want to know exactly how to use the tools, you can refer to the documentation. We go to the tools section, then to the file system. In this section, it explains the tasks you can perform. For example, the first tool is called list directory to display folder contents. Indeed, after giving it the path, it tells me what's inside. Here are the folders and here are the files. And if we check the folder ourselves, we'll find that what it listed is completely accurate. Now let's try creating files or folders. I can say, create new Word doc in, and then paste the path. There's another way to copy the path. I go to the desired folder, right click on it, choose copy as path, then go back to the tool and paste it. Then I press enter. It will ask me, what name do you want to give the new document? I might say, for example, After that, it will ask me for permission to proceed, so I press Enter to confirm. It replies, I've created the document in this path. Now we can ask it to insert content, like a research summary or web search results. So now we know that it can read files and create new files. Now let's try reading files. I'll go back to downloads and pick any PDF file, then copy its path the same way. After that, I ask it to summarize the file. So I say, summarize this file, then paste the path and press enter. Notice that I didn't explicitly specify the tool name read file, and yet the tool understood what I wanted on its own. It started accessing the file, showed an icon indicating it used the read file tool, and then told me it was analyzing the PDF structure. After a short time, it gave me a good summary of the article. That's really impressive. So we've confirmed that it can read files even without an attachment feature. All you have to do is provide the path and define the task like summarizing, editing, or otherwise using the read file tool.
So that's Gemini CLI is a free open source AI agent with pro tools and full terminal control. Try it out and tell me in the comments what you create.